Hi Aquarius. This is how they feel for August the 18th through August the 19th, 2000, okay, speak 2023, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for August the 18th through August the 19th, 2023, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for August the 18th through August the 19th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for August the 18th through August the 19th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Aquarius, this is how they feel. And their crowning energy is the Nine of Swords in reverse. How they feel about you is the star in reverse and the fool in reverse. And what's in their environment is the page of swords in reverse and the knight of pentacles in reverse. <sighs> reverse. So Aquarius, this is in their environment. This may be external to you or it may be linked to you. We'll see, okay? So Aquarius, in the crowning energy here is the nine of swords in reverse. So this is someone who may have been all up in their head, stressing, worried, anxious, in a nightmare. And they're wanting to come up out of this nightmare. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the fool, this fool in reverse. So not willing to take a leap, not willing to start new, no forward movement, movement, not willing to take a chance here. Clarify the fool for Aquarius' person. Clarify the fool for Aquarius' person. Clarify the fool for Aquarius' person. Okay, death. Mm. So something is ending or transforming here. Clarify death for Aquarius' person. Clarify death for Aquarius' person. Clarify death for Aquarius' person. The Seven of Cups in reverse. So, okay. So it seems like this person is telling me that they're coming out of being disillusioned here, okay? They're coming out of this illusion, this fantasy, that they're no longer wanting to be in a nightmare. They're not wanting to move forward with something anymore, not willing to take a leap or a chance. They're just wanting something to end. They're wanting something to end. They want to come out of this confusion. Page of Swords in reverse. Very well could be some sharp communication, some choice words said here. Also spying. Clarify the Page of Swords for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Page of Swords for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Page of Swords for Aquarius' partner. <clears throat> it is clarified with the King of Wands. Hmm. Someone who's confident, self-assured, someone who's taking action here. Someone who's very passionate, outgoing. Hmm. What about it? Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius's person. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius's person. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius's person. The Sun in reverse could be dealing with a Leo, but someone who's not happy here or not knowing the full story here someone who's spying who doesn't see everything they need to see here there's no clarity here 
but wanting to take some type of action concerning it. Clarify the sun. No abundance, no joy for Aquarius, this person. Clarify the sun for Aquarius, this person. Clarify the sun for Aquarius, this person. Five of Wands in reverse. Coming out of conflict here. Not no longer competing here. Wanting to come out of some type of drama here. You guys, like I said, could be having choice words between one another. Some type of conflict. They don't, it's like they're saying, I'm not with it anymore. I'm just tired of the confusion. I'm tired of being in my head. I don't even want to take this leap anymore. I just want things to end. I don't want this drama. I don't want this competition. They could be spying and see that there's competition here. They may not like what they're seeing here. It's feel, it feels, and I want to say this, it feels like this person is growing a pair. <laughs> Because the King of Wands is here. It's like, I'm, I, don't, I don't even want to deal with it anymore. I'm getting ready to get my groove back, take action here. I don't want to be a part of this confusion. Confusion, 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 confusion. I don't want to be a part of it. They could be being accused here, Aquarius, of their being someone else. And they're showing up as the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is the king of someone who may have someone else here. But it's not clear or it's being cloaked here. It almost feels like they're wanting to get out of something, but maybe getting into something, but not wanting it to be seen. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. No forward movement with anything committed or stable here. No growth here. Could be coming up out of some type of commitment. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius, this person. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. This commitment is just at a halt here for Aquarius, this person. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius, this person. The Hangman. Yeah, at a halt here. At a standstill here. Hmm. I hope you guys can see Clarify the hangman for Aquarius, this person. Clarify the hangman for Aquarius, this person. Clarify the hangman for Aquarius, this person. Six of Pentacles in reverse. No longer giving to a situation. Basically what they're saying up here is like they're done giving. They're done. It's nothing going on here. We're not moving forward. We're not building anything. I'm not willing to give my effort, energy, time, anything at all. It's just stagnant here. Nothing is going on. There's no forward movement. I just want to be out of this nightmare. I want it to end. They can feel like, and because this is maybe a spying card, they can feel like you're out being the king of wands, but they don't really know about it. They're conflicted with them about it. They don't know if it's actual competition here. You guys can be having this choice words and some type of confusion or drama taking place here. But they themselves could also be in this energy of this king of wands. And it's something being hidden from the other person. Aquarius, this is how they feel or think concerning you or this is how you actually think or feel. The star in reverse. This is no longer having hope. You know, not getting your wish. There's no healing going on here. Clarify the star for Aquarius, this person. Clarify the star for Aquarius, this person. Clarify the star for Aquarius, this person concerning Aquarius. 
Two of Pentacles. Back and forth, up and down, around and round they go. Aquarius <clears throat> could be juggling. Could be someone managing many things at once here. Someone up and down in their feelings not stable here. So they can very well feel this way about you or you them, okay? That there's no stability. That something is not stable here. And there's no more hope. It's, it's, it's not stable enough to heal anything here, okay? Or one minute someone feels like maybe they want to heal something and it doesn't actually go through. It's just hope. Just, Giving up hope here. Don't even have hope for this. I think you both feel the same way, Aquarius, actually. I think you both feel the same way. The Fool in Reverse. No forward movement, not willing to take a leap, you know, just not wanting to, not wanting to. Clarify the fool for Aquarius's person. Clarify the fool for Aquarius's person. Clarify the fool for Aquarius's person concerning Aquarius over here. When I say sticky, I mean sticky. I mean the sticky, icky, 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 icky over here. The lovers. Definitely could be twin flame energy here. Yes. Some type of an agreement here. Yes. But it could also be that there's someone else. Maybe some type of juggling took place here. Clarify the lovers for Aquarius's person. Clarify the lovers for Aquarius's person. Clarify the lovers for Aquarius's person concerning Aquarius. Yep, Seven of Swords. Some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness, this year, sneakiness, or sneaking off. You know, Aquarius, listen, you both can be feeling the same way about one another. You both may feel like the other has someone else. Is sneaking around with someone else, involved with someone, someone else, and you're both losing hope for the situation, a hope with healing the situation. Your person is telling me, I need to come up out of this nightmare. It's not going anywhere. I'm not willing to start new here. I just want things to end. I want to come out of being disillusioned. I want to come out of this fantasy. I want to come out of this confusion. And I feel like you're also confused because you're like, I don't know, up and down, around and around on whether or not we're going to heal this or not. They feel like you guys always must be getting some type of argument and still don't gain any type of clarity with one another. Very heated, passionate towards one another, like a heated argument towards one another all the time. And it could also be that, you know, someone's here accusing the other of being the king of wands, spreading the wand with someone else, but don't really know the truth. Still in some type of confusion, still guessing or wondering here. So everything is just at a halt here and they're feeling like I can't give anymore. I'm no longer willing to give to this. You also feel like I'm not willing to start new here because I may suspect that there's another other lover and cheating going on. They may also feel that a way about you that you have another other lover and cheating is going on. And we can't heal this because someone is juggling. It's almost like you're mirroring each other, accusing each other of the same thing and actually feeling the same way about not taking a new start with one another. You're just wanting it to end is what it looks like to me. I'm going to take three cards for on their, really? I'm going to look at the twin flames exposed. And I'm going to take three cards for your partner on their thoughts, feelings, or confessions. And I'm going to take two cards on your thoughts, feelings, or confessions. Or how they're thinking that you're thinking or feeling. Or how they're actually thinking or feeling concerning you, Aquarius. I don't even know why. You live in my mind every second of the day. I'm obsessed with you. I'm obsessed with you. And this is why they just want to come out this nightmare. It's like I can't take it anymore. I don't think they're obsessed with you in a way like I have to have you. 
they're obsessed in a way that I need to find out what's going on. And I'm tired of it. Or what Aquarius is doing. And I'm tired of it. Or are we going to do anything? And I'm freaking tired of it. Okay. What else for Aquarius, this person? What else? <clears throat> Itchy. I miss hearing your voice and getting your text messages every day. <clears throat> Throat chakra. We can't even speak. Not even speaking. <clears throat> oh, gosh. What else? For Aquarius, this person. It's this one song just comes to my mind. Uh, Brian McKnight, Anytime. Can't remember why we fell apart for something that was so meant to be. Forever was the promise in our hearts. Now more and more I wonder where you are. Do I ever cross your mind anytime? Do you ever wake up reaching out for me? I need you. I want you. I love you. But why we have so much conflict? Is somebody leading the other person on in any type of way? Is the other person making the other person feel like there's some type of hope? Ah, when I'm, I, I'm saying this is you, but I mean, do you go in and out of feeling like there is hope? Do they go in and out of feeling like it's hope with you? Like it's like you're dragging each other. I'm going to get two cards on you, Aquarius, on your thoughts, feelings, or confessions, or their thoughts, feelings, and confessions concerning you. Mm -hmm. I didn't open up because then I would be letting you in. I didn't open up because then I would be letting you in. It's like you want to keep them out. Like it is. It's, it's, mm. Okay. Or they're not willing to open up anymore. You gotta tell me. This is um I don't know. I just see the writing on the wall. I miss everything about you. You know, I feel that's why it's it's like we gotta let this thing go. Because the trust is gone and it's a headache. But when I think about or reminisce on what we used to have, I miss it. I feel like I still need you. I still love you. I still want you. I miss hearing your voice and your text messages. We're not talking now. I'm obsessed with you, but what is the problem then? What is the problem? Is it because someone, one person was giving too much to the relationship here? And could be losing a lot of because of this relationship going bad? I don't I don't get it. I don't get it, Aquarius. I I I, I, I mm. We're not talking to each other. Because whenever we do, there's an argument taking place here. And you both suspect the other of being with someone else. And then when you think about what you had, it kind of pulls you back like maybe, you know, perhaps someday, somehow, some way it could happen. But no. And the next day, you feel like this is a total disaster. I cannot be in it. It's up and down with the emotions here. I'm going to look at the lover's oracle for you, Aquarius. Freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So maybe it's time to like set yourself free. 
because I'm telling you, it's just going around and around of not happening, not working. You're both mirroring each other about not starting new with one another. Ah, this is so, this, oh. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aquarius, this is how they feel for August the 18th through August the 19th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.